The SCI compressor is well equipped with oil management techniques to satisfy high stability applications with long piping. For instance, VRF system in high rise buildings, CCAC system in server rooms, and refrigeration system in supermarkets. SCI's oil management techniques will definitely boost system performance and stability. The five techniques include Oil return technique by Muto oil separator Oil balance technique between compressors in single condenser Speed boost up technique Oil washing technique by discharge superheat control Oil balance technique between compressors in multiple condensers Generally, when compressors run at high speed, a large amount of oil is released from the compressors. On the other hand, if compressors run at low speed, a small amount of oil is released. The oil return technique by Muto oil separator therefore keeps the oil level in compressors at a certain level by regulating the valve openings to match with compressor speed. In case of oil level decline, to reach threshold level, the oil separator will promptly release oil into the compressor. In a system where multiple compressors are connected in single condenser, the connection plan is as shown. Due to multiple compressors working simultaneously, the oil level in some compressors are prone to be lower than the optimal level. The oil balance technique, hence, manages the oil level by regulating the solenoid valve openings in a timely manner to keep the oil level of all compressors at optimum. The speed boost up technique is utilized in vertical piping where the compressors are above the evaporators. The minimum oil return speed in this case depends on the size of the pipe. That is, larger pipes requires higher maximum oil return speed. The equation for calculating the minimum oil return speed, given the size of the pipe, is as shown. According to the equation, here is the list of minimum oil return speed of each compressor model. And here is an example of how to find the minimum oil return speed and the size of the pipe for each model. The figure shows that to connect a 2.5 to 15.2 kilowatt condenser to the compressor model ADB 66 FAA MTS with vertical gas pipe, the size of the pipe would be 1 and 1 8 inches in diameter with 100% flow rate. The figure also shows that the system can accommodate three refrigerating units, namely 4 kilowatt, 2 kilowatt, and 6 kilowatt. Therefore, the total power is 12 kilowatt. The size of the pipe connecting to the 4 kilowatt refrigerating unit would be 5 eighths inch in diameter, with the flow rate equal to 33%. The size of the pipe connecting to the 2 kilowatt refrigerating unit would be 3 eighths inch in diameter, with the flow rate equal to 17%. The size of the pipe connecting to the 6 kilowatt refrigerating unit would be 3 quarters of an inch in diameter, with the flow rate equal to 50%. Compare flow rates and pipe sizes with the table to find the minimum oil return rate of the compressor. When compressors work at the speed lower than the minimum oil return rate, the oil level will gradually decline and will reach the minimum level in A time. As a result, the compressors are sped up to increase the oil return rate until it surpasses the minimum oil return rate, thus raising the oil level from the minimum level to the maximum level in B time. Please visit the website shown on the screen to find out more on how to calculate the minimum speed, A time, and B time. In cases where compressors are installed below the condenser in the evaporator, oil will possibly be unable to return to the condenser if the hot gas line is too large and the compressor speed is too low. The minimum speed, A time and B time, can be calculated in the same way as the case aforementioned. In vertical piping, oil traps must be installed every 10 meters to collect the oil. 
The oil washing technique by Discharge Superheat Control is the unique technique available in SCI compressors only. It can be applied with ease regardless of compressor speed and pipe size. During the oil washing process, the refrigerant will be partially condensed from gaseous to liquid by controlling the suction superheat to zero and discharge superheat to higher than 10 Kelvin. EEV valve openings are regulated evaporator by evaporator in a timely manner to return the oil to the compressor. The oil balance technique between compressors in multiple condensers is the same as one between compressors in single condenser except additional devices needed as shown. Due to multiple compressors working simultaneously, the oil level in some compressors are prone to be lower than the optimal level. The oil balance technique, hence, manages the oil level by regulating the solenoid valve openings in a timely manner to share the oil from other condensers to keep the oil level of all the compressors at optimum. Compressors with an oil level sensor are capable of automatically detecting minimum oil levels and regulating accordingly. For compressors without an oil level sensor, users have to schedule regulation process by experimentation to find out the appropriate timing. The heart of oil management is to return oil to compressors as soon as possible. The first priority is then to return the oil from the point nearest to the compressors before returning the oil from further points in the system. The stages are Oil Return Technique by Muto Oil Separator Please skip this stage in applications without oil separators. The Oil Balance Technique between compressors in the single condenser. Please skip this stage in applications with single compressors. The oil washing technique by discharge superheat control. The speed boost up technique. The oil balance technique between compressors in multiple condensers. All these are the procedures of SCI Compressors Oil Management which serve the utmost important purposes of boosting the performance and prolonging the working life for the best possible working condition of the best refrigeration systems.